Welcome back, Knights of Dragaria. I'm your host, Veracity Trigger, and we are going to cover the Knights of the Republic of Gumul today. And as usual, stay triggered. Pew pew pew. Okay, today we are going to be talking about Kane, gender male, age 29, class paladin, rune knight of the Republic of Gumul. His father is known for her. His rivalry with Gumol's treasure, President Alden. Because of this, he is constantly at odds with Eliza. Although a capable Rune Knight, his pride and cynical attitude make him far less popular than Eliza. He is well versed in monster ecology and uses that knowledge to constantly research new formation theories and craft battle strategies. Essentially, this is a Pokemon master right here. I'm just telling you right now. Don't don't laugh at the messenger. Just shoot near the. <laughs> shooting you the breeze right now so he is a knight it's you can go dark knight or you can go paladin I would recommend I don't think he starts as a paladin though I'm trying to remember I don't think he does I think he starts as like a high level knight and you can kind of change him into stuff but um, if I forgot that which I don't think I have <laughs> there's just so many knights in here I wish I could remember everybody perfectly in sync but you know uh, I usually have him as a paladin, and he does very, very well as a paladin. So what is he like as a paladin? Let's explore that idea. Let's explore this whole... Uh, <laughs> let's explore everything there is to explore about Cain. You get a great sword, a nice big sword, heavy armor, heavy helmet, and a ring. Essentially, frontline tank, amazing at it. He's good. Uh, you get a shield block, 25% chance to block an attack. Or not to block an attack, but to mitigate the damage by half. Essentially, what is that? That is what that does. Hit point recovery, 3% of max HP recovery at the beginning of every turn. It doesn't sound like much, but it's 3% of the back end of this 788 MP. So do a calculation there, and you're going to see that that's actually not so bad. So you get 200 MP. Not, not, not a lot of MP. It's all right. But the defense is good, 140. You know, that's kind of naturally aspirating there. Uh, you got... 85 agility for a paladin it was that's almost unheard of for a, a well-established uh, knight so he's like this guy's established right here he's just he just is established you get a five command range character growth e that's kind of normal at this point level 28 rune growth of b so yeah this is like an established knight this is close to dinadan establishment here as far as paladin is concerned so you know kane is good you know don't don't uh don't kick him down he's he's gonna be good for going in and helping you clear out the enemies so yeah absolutely so what do you get as a paladin here you get holy slash power of 130 really good attack bonus accuracy of 11 normal attack holy break just like i told you before i don't know if you saw the previous video but if you have then you know it's has a bad accuracy modifier so you kind of need to have something on the other side of the enemy that you're fighting to chain them in to make this work. It's a free attack though, so it is a pre-move, but it's free, so it doesn't cost you any MP. So I'd highly recommend doing this as much as you can if you're out of MP. If you can chain the enemy and you can get a good hit on them. Now, having 85 agility means that you're probably gonna have a high percentage, but it might be around the 60s to 70s. It could be close to 80s. It depends on what the monster is like. If it's a Mandrake and they're not in a forest, they're not in their element, you have a very good chance of hitting them. But if it's something like a Wyvern, it might be 60, 70 to hit it. And then if you miss it, you're going to feel a little foolish. But, you know, the thing is, that's the fun of life. you got to take a chance sometimes, you know. But not every time, but <laughs> sometimes you have to take a chance. So you do have this free attack here, which is pretty good, and it's pretty powerful. Now, you got these other moves here. you got Judgment which does cost you 100 and 110 MP, which means that uh, uh, 203 MP without any gear, you're just looking at one attack and you're done. So that's not that great. It's the one downside he has is that uh, he needs more MP. So you need gear to do that, obviously. Or potions and pills, that'll work too. But um, this is 210 power, very powerful. And it can kill zombies in one hit. And it just does this weird like attack where he's pushes his sword in the air and then like a light beam like cuts up through the enemy it's uh, it looks kind of like what the curse spells did in the past game in, in a way 
Uh, but it's uh, it's pretty powerful. It has three orbs. It has a slight bonus modifier, so it's slightly plus accuracy here instead of the previous one, a minus 19. So that's uh, that's kind of a good thing. And then you get Iron Aura, which is a self-protect for a limited number of turns. I believe it's three turns. It's less than the cost to protect spell, but it can only work on him. So if you're going to run all the way out to the enemy and everybody's going to follow, to, you know, they're going to be, you know, heel to toe behind you, try to pop this first before you just attack something, unless you're going to get that kill shot. That's the only thing I could probably recommend. So this will put a protect on you, and you're going to notice that they're going to try to hit you so hard, and they're barely going to scratch you with Iron Ore on. Just because. Just just watch it. You'll you'll laugh very hard. Now, Divine Ray, very much like Judgment. Less power than Judgment, but one more space to use this. And two more MP. So really, it's just a toss-up. Am I using Divine Ray, or am I using Judgment? Are they far away? Are they close by? Can I pincer them and get uh, a, a better accuracy hit? Or do I not want to worry about that and just cast the bomb and, you know, not care? So, that's what you have to deal with when you're thinking about this. Divine Ray doesn't have a counter to it, but Judgment can. So if you use Judgment, they can counter you. So that's the one downside of Judgment. It is more powerful, but they could counter you, you know, if they're alive to counter you. And last but not least, you get a heal spell, which is pretty nice, because then you could heal yourself up and just tank forever, or you can heal up somebody else that's trying to move past the enemy line on a flanking position and let them, you know, kind of like leapfrog ahead as far as attacking the enemy in a battlefield. So you can use this to heal up your leaders and just, you know, be a self-sacrificing tank or heal yourself pop iron aura on yourself you don't have to do any of these other moves you could just do iron aura heal heal iron aura heal and not have to worry about probably dying at all <laughs> it depends though if you if you're up against stella that's a different a whole different boat you know it's a whole different shoe or even tim potentially too you know because he can cut through the white the white dots the holy orbs but that's essentially kane in a nutshell he's a good tank he's a reliable tank you, know, you can put him in the front lines. Um, rune power of 344. I mean, how can you go wrong with that? You're, you pretty much get any dragon you want. You can get almost any of the high level stuff you want. Throw him out in the battlefield, and wow, he's just gonna you'll you'll wreck you'll wreck a house with this guy. So that's all I got to say. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, give a like and let me know what you think about Kane. Do you like this guy? Do you not like this guy? I kind of like this guy, but uh, yeah, let me know. I'll see you in the next guide video. Take care.